Well, welcome to the Red Men TV. It's Uncensored Match Build Up Show time, and I've got some guests in the studio with me. No Paul because he's off uh, on holiday down in Pagham with the old family and the young family as well, actually. Uh, so today I'm joined by Tom, by Jack Mack, and of course Ross Chanley as well, uh, and very soon to be joined by a gnome <laughs> and Roberto Firmino on the couch. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. We're going to take a little look at the 30 man squad first of yep. all. Tom, I think, you know, it's come out. The Klopp has taken 30 players over to Germany. Um, mm -hmm. Just to run through it, we've got Karius, Klein, Wijnaldum, Lovren, Milner, Firmino, Coutinho, Salah, Gomez, Henderson, Sturridge, Gruwich, Klaver, Moreno, Mane, Lalana, Mignolet, Chan, Robertson, Origi, Ing, Solanke, Matip, Flanagan, Kent, Ward, Ajaria, Woodburn, Trent and Grabara. Interestingly, Tom, mm -hmm. and this is where we want to look at it, yeah. We've obviously taken more players than we're allowed. It was a 25-man mm. squad allowed in Hong Kong. Yeah. We're taking 30. Do you think that's to do with the fact that we've got a few games in a few days? Uh, I think it must be. I think um, they've got a lot to juggle there. Um, uh, from what I can see, they're kind of money-spinning friendlies anyway. But um, there's a couple there you might want to put in the shop window as well, if, if you look through the list. Um, Who would they be? You know, I'm, I'm looking at the likes of maybe... Um, and the Jaria, who there's been talk about him maybe uh, going out on loan, that's being sustained. Um, we've not seen much of um, Grabara as well, who's uh, got a bit of a run out against Tramia, but nothing much. Mm -hmm. um, so he might be one to look at as well. Do you think there's anyone, Jack, that's omitted from that squad that you'd maybe have taken, or does it say anything? Mm, if I'm looking admitted, like. I'm surprised. Is Ojo's not on there? Ojo's not on there, is he? No. No. So that's more or less. I think he's obviously getting his loan deal out this mm. season. Um, I made up for me Kent. I, I love Kent. I love the way he plays. Hopefully, he gets a lot more time. Um, and Gomez as well. Joe's in the team as well. So I think Joe has stay. Been talk of him going out on his lo on loan as well. But Flanagan, as well for me. I don't know what Klopp's gonna do. He's talked about him playing left back, right yeah. back. The versatility of him. Playing, but um, thing with Flano for me is that you know he, he could be the backup to the backup if you like, and that I think that's a position that all teams need to fill. And he could come in and do a job there. He's a local lad, uh, I think we all talked to him that year that he he done so well with, with the title challenge. And I think there's still a role to play for him at, at Liverpool. Yeah, what about you, Ross? What you see John, uh, John Flanagan's place in the squad? Exactly that. He had a, a thing last last month, I think it was. He said, you know, I've not had much game time with Burnley, but I've been training, and he stayed injury free, which is a, a major thing because he obviously had a, a, quite a serious injury. Um, I think this will be a test to see how he gets on in pre season. Still, I don't think he's he's solidified a place in in that squad for the, for the season yet. Um, but going back to the people that are in there, I'm surprised Moreno's in there. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I know he's he's played a tiny bit in, in pre-season but I think you're going to leave anyone behind maybe it's a case of throwing them in the shot window for someone who yeah. might be stupid enough yeah. to bite him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that is or for Berlin uh, they might be looking for maybe. a left back well, uh, yeah, maybe just leave him there <laughs> To say, well, we've got another game on Saturday, but we haven't. <laughs> just, well, I, I think that's, I think that's where it comes down to. I think you know we're obviously playing on Saturday on the 29th. We've got games on the mm. first against by a game on the first against Bayern Munich. We've got a game on the second as well. Mm. You know, there's not much turnaround time there. And yeah. the, I throw it straight back at you, Ross. Do you expect to see an eleven play almost ninety minutes, or do you think it's going to be split forty fives and then? two separate teams for those first and second games? Uh, I think Klopp's already said he, he wants to step it up in, in Germany, whether it's going to be 60, 70 minutes instead of, instead of 45. So I think you've got that thing of they've already played four games now, isn't it? And the, I don't know. Yeah, four. I can count them. Tramier, yeah. Wigan, Leicester and Crystal Palace. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Um, and you haven't got that stuff of humidity where they did that in, in Hong Kong. So I think they'll be expected to step it up. Um as far as it seems, quite a, a long way away. The, the, the season's only around the corner. But the, 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 I suppose the question then, Ross, is if he plays 60, 70 minutes of a first team, is it a completely separate team? For the second game. For the second game. And then does that first team who've played 60, 70 minutes come in for the full game on the 2nd of August? Yeah, well, I think that's, that's You think that's the way yeah. it's going to be? Yeah, I think you'd have to. Um, I think they need that that extra step in, in minutes and then they're obviously going to need the rest because that's what they're going to be doing in the Premier League. I think it's going to be, there, there is going to be a lot of rotation we've already spoke about several times um, and 
the versatility of these players. I think it's going to be a chance to, to give them another chance of going, say, Coutinho in, in a midfield role or you know mixing up everywhere they, where they can. It's just practice of doing that, I think. And what do you think on that then, Jack? Yeah. Do you think that's the right way to go? Do you, or do you think maybe 45 each half for the first game and then split the teams for the second too? For me, I, I'd rather play a stronger team against Bayern. Um, I think a lot of the younger lads might get a, more of a game time, like 60, um, and then a lot stronger in the Juventus, the Audi Cup games. But if he's going to play, because they're all, they're all going to be knackered, aren't they? They've been <laughs> ran off the feet all week. Um, but Germany, the, this is his main camp he's been talking about, Klopp and all. All summer, this. But if he is going to play, I think he will, as Ross said, like they'll step up the minutes. If he's going to focus on like get his the strongest possible starting eleven out there, they will play till sixty and then Audi. But I think there's a lot of players in there, in there, so there'll be a lot of rotation. But the game time in between as well is going to be very short. So for me, I think he'll go a lot more the kids in this here to bit Berlin game. But I don't know. I don't know if you... Okay, well, a, li a little bit on Hertha Berlin. Then they yeah. finished sixth in the Bundesliga mm -hmm. last season. Um, so it went Bayern, Leipzig, Dortmund, Hoffenheim, Cologne, and then Hertha Berlin. Now, you know, 49 points in the league, 33 points behind Bayern Munich. Um, negative goal difference, which is quite interesting. One of the low scorers in the top yeah. half of the table. Only 43 goals. couple of the danger men. Uh, Vedat Ibisevic uh, scored 14 goals in seven, uh, 37 appearances for them last season. He's very and much their danger man. He is. He is. And he's, <laughs> yeah. a, he's a big, tall target man. He's a, he's a brute, isn't he? I don't know if you watch a lot of the Bundesliga, but it's certainly what I took away yeah, from it, Ross. I was doing some research over the past couple of weeks on it, actually. And that's exactly the words that I got. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sean, just before the show started. Yeah. Um, and then I think the other player, uh, Tom, a player that Liverpool yeah. fans will remember very well in Solomon Kalou plays for them and plays up front That's with the it, aforementioned yeah. Ibisevic. Um, Kalou was al always one of them for Chelsea. He come on and uh, I think the word <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was I was keeping it nice. I was keeping niceties, but um, Kalou he, he was a danger man for Chelsea yeah. when he used to come on. He's obviously still doing a, a a bit of a job for them as well, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for him. And then I think I think this has been builders this celebrate almost like I can't remember the exact words that Liverpool use, but like a celebration of football that started in eighteen ninety two because it's the hundred and twenty fifth oh, anniversary yeah, for yeah. Liverpool. Hertha Berlin were founded in exactly the same year, so two clubs coming together in Germany. I think it was a point that Jack made a minute ago about excuse me how. Klopp, or maybe it was Ross, Klopp has identified this as this is where pre-season really begins. Yeah. The distractions have stopped. When we went over to Hong Kong, they had lots of commercial stuff to do with, mm. you know, lots of interviews and all that type of stuff. Germany is a, a place for work and access is going to be limited. I would be surprised if we saw the best Liverpool on the field because I think he'll be working them to the bone in these pre-season training sessions now, like double training sessions, one on the morning of the match and then going into the match. Mm. And I think that's only good, isn't it? I mean, if anybody watches the cycling, or all any of you watch cycling, or oh, follow right, no. they they build your fitness up for particular times of the season. So the Tour de France has just finished now. Chris Froome built up to be, hit his peak yeah. at the Tour de France and then he's hopefully going to hold on for the Vuelta in six weeks time and stuff and mm -hmm. it's about fitness training football's different in a way that you have to build your fitness up to start as the season and then you have so to sustain, sustain it, it for yeah. nine, ten months which is nigh on impossible you think about <laughs> how tennis players do it they build up for the major tournaments two weeks at a yeah. and that's how they have to build their form up for football's very different so these results really don't matter. We want to see, because we're playing Bayern Munich in a, in a, in a game time, yeah. the best Liverpool. But actually, that's not what this is about, Tom. We, we could get B5-0 by Bayern Munich and it'd still be a positive experience for them players. They're all staggered at the moment, so they're all trying to you know, get back to peak fitness for the start of the season. They're all at different points of that regime, you'd understand. So, you know, it's one of them where, although obviously we'd like to win the fixture, you know, it, it's not the priority for me. I think the priority is to get them fit. Yeah, and I think like you said you mentioned five nil. I mean, as long as you don't get beaten by them five one every single time you play them in the Champions League, <laughs> yeah. like Arsenal in the season, you're probably yeah. pretty much golden here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but okay, well, we'll we, we obviously one final plug for Red Men TV Live. We've got a couple of tickets left, not many, over in Berlin, 29th of sorry, 28th of July, 7:30, Magnet Bar, hour and a half show from Red Men TV with interactive quizzes, prizes, raffles, all that type of stuff. 
After that, we're packing our equipment up. LFC TV are coming in with a couple of Liverpool legends to the Magnet Bar. And then after they've gone home, we're going to be back on the stands and the shots. Merseyside party. We've done the playlist for it. We're hosting this big party. Come and join us. Tickets are on the Redmen TV shop. The description, uh, the link is in the description, sorry. Uh, come and join us. Come and have a beer with us. If you're in Berlin, if you're in over for the game as well, come and find us after the game. We'll be doing fan cams, of course, because we're over there and we want to speak to Liverpool fans. So one final plug for that. Back to the game against Hertha Berlin. Jack, a first look at Andy Robertson. Yeah, I'm made up. Um, everyone's going, oh wow, we aren't. We sent, as we talked about, City with their left back and right back. But um, I'm made up. He seems like he's done two seasons now in the Prem, so he's got his experience. Um, yeah, I do think like, he'll do decent. This is the thing, isn't it? I mean, Liverpool fans, Ross, uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be when we signed Robertson. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I think, you know, we, I think we recognise that we need a very good left back moving forwards. Robertson is, is going to come in and we're going to see what he's about. It's one thing playing for Hull and looking good playing left back as an attacking left back in a team that doesn't attack very often. It's completely different if you get an opportunity for Liverpool and how you're, how he's going to react to a change between running up and down the field and leaving centre-backs and having to get back. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm going to give Robertson the benefit of the doubt. He's never pulled on a Liverpool shit. I want him to succeed. Because why not? Why wouldn't you want Liverpool to sign a player for £8 million and be worth £50 million? <laughs> Why do you want to write him off beforehand? I don't get it. I'm excited to see Andy Robertson. Are you feeling the same? Yeah, I am. I think there's two... Well... Two issues. One is people that are spreading negative vibes obviously just assume oh the whole the whole thing. And like me, I didn't see much of him play over the past two seasons. Yeah, I've heard of him when we've been linked. You trust Klopp is the other thing. And now we live in a world where we have access to to go and watch clips of what he, what he has done and catch up what he has done. Or right, YouTube clips of predominantly made up of people banging in goals to, to house music, <laughs> so everyone everyone looks good. But I was watching him yesterday. I think it was a game against Arsenal. It was like that was just a, a short snippet of what what he can do, and it is impressive. And he should be excited by having a young left back, and should also be excited that 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 backup is Moreno. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, it's the second time you've had a go at Moreno <laughs> in about ten minutes. I've seen, seen a video of him yesterday as well. It's like it's fucking pissed me off. Well, Tom. Yeah. Moving on to one of the other fullbacks, I think you know Nathaniel Klein mm. still probably going to be injured for this game. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold looks like he could have an opportunity to even start the season as first choice right back yeah. now. Klopp, in a Melissa Reddy article that we've all read, haven't we? You know, mm. we all spoke about it this morning. Mentioned Trent Alexander-Arnold and and how he feels that he can defend, he can attack like a man, but at the moment he's kind like of defending boy. like a, like a boy yeah, or a kid. Yeah. Or I think the word was maybe. Yeah. He's got to step up and start showing that he can do the defensive side of the game because we know he can attack well. I think you know that that's all part and parcel of learning your trade, and um, what better in the arena to do with that? You know, playing for Liverpool, he's going to get them opportunities now with, with Klein being injured. You think, I, you know, he's obviously got a lot of promise. A, a lot of players are, and and uh, coaches at the club have a lot of, um, you know, good things to say about him. Um, so I think it's onwards and upwards for him, and. Um, I think we're all rooting for him to do well. We're all looking for that kind of scout's heartbeat as well of the club, which I think we've been lacking a little bit. You know, that tenacity that I think a local player can bring. Yeah. You know, that, that could be something that, that'll gear the fans up as well. Yeah. And, and Jack, um, one player we've not mentioned, and I think it would be terrible of us not to mention him, Sadio Mane is in the squad. Yeah. Yes. Thank now, <laughs> whether it's too soon, the Hertha Berlin game, or whether we might see him against Bayern Munich, He's a player, regardless of when he plays, he's yeah. going to have to start games at some point yeah. in pre-season. What would you prefer to see? Would you like to see him with Salah and Firmino up top? Yeah. Or would you like to see him with like a Coutinho on one wing and him? And how Maybe would you... integrate him into like a Coutinho, not like put him fully in. I, I reckon it might get like 30, 30 minutes. But I think it's like all oh, this season, we've all been talking about transfers and that, but we forgot about the possibilities of seeing Salah. And Mane and Coutinho or yeah. in a team. Like um, Mane done so good for us last season. Mm. He was our top top goal scorer in Everton, but I think Coutinho uh, was in the end. Oh, was he? For, yeah, for, the, yeah. for the entire season it was always Mane yeah, and then yeah. he got injured, didn't but, he? But like it's exciting for him to come back back into this team mm. and the potential of what would the what the attacking force that we've we've got this season. Where but, do you think his starting place is? Because he starts. Yeah. Um I think maybe left wing. 
But I think with um, Salah when he was at Roma and Mane when he was a um, when he was abroad before he came to Southampton, he can play anywhere across the forward line. But he can both play striker as well, so he can play striker like left wing. But for this season, I can see Mane playing on the left, and obviously Salah cut, coming in from the right, cutting in with his left. But the the forward line will interchange anyway all yeah. season. But but I think he'll start yeah. off the game Mane on the on the on the far left. Do you, do you agree with that, Ross? Yeah, that I completely something agree. you want to see. Yeah, I think I, I want to see it on this game actually. I just want to yeah. just to come. Rip it up. <laughs> I'd honestly have one of them on either wing for me up top, and then you've got Coutinho, Lallana, Henderson, or Van Do you know what I mean? It's just it's going to be awesome to watch and then see how they get on and experiment with each other because I think, they, like you said, they will interchange in the middle of games. And once one of them sees yeah. ones in space, <laughs> just go on the other side. And we did saw it a lot against, I think it was the Leicester game, dragging people over to one side and then sellers and acres of space the other side. Yeah. But we were doing that with him, and we were on the opposite side, and you've got Manny on the other side. He's just. Just we're going to be an attacking force. Yeah. 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 Well, I think he, he's talked a lot about Iron Robin. I don't know whether you've noticed in a lot of uh, interviews and I'm, I'm wondering whether he's. Uh, morning, I don't know whether he's kind of wondering whether he can, you know, deploy them both uh, as that kind of player. Well, they you had know, Ribery and Robin, didn't do, they? Yeah. yeah, both inverted wingers, both yeah. scored loads of goals yeah. for Bayern Munich, both worked off a front man. So he's very much replicating that style of a yeah. front three. I think yeah. if we were to use yeah. Jack's suggestion of right and left, which has been very effective for an awful lot of very successful teams. Most sure Europeans, is it like a four two, like a four three three, but like a four two three one. With like your two in the field and then you're attacking. And yeah, then you're, that's it. Your wing, like your wingers slash forwards, like come Inverted, back and then forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're both yeah. quick enough to get back when we're in yeah. the shit as well. <laughs> yeah, whether they so will. So is Moreno though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't get Third the ball. Time, does no. he? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get his bottle of water to flip. <laughs> okay, well there you go. I mean, I, Paul's not done. Yeah. Um, score predictions for these games so far this preseason. <laughs> preseason, so I'm not going to ask you yeah. for your score <laughs> prediction. One thing I, I wanted to touch on because. I think we might have difficulties doing and centre match build up shows next week with the, the timing of the games and stuff. For me, I want to see Emery Chan start one of these games. You know, yeah. and I think for Emery Chan, you're throwing him in against Bayern Munich. Oh, yeah. You know, I, 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 that's what I'd like to see. I don't know if whether, whether you agree, Tom. I think we'd all be very, um, very happy to see him on the pitch, to be quite, quite honest with you. He came back from a. Uh, for playing for Germany, he didn't get much playing time over there. Um, I think we'll be willing them on, to be honest. I know there's a lot going on with kind of the, the contract situation, allegedly. But uh, I think we'd be very glad to see him in a red shirt. Yeah, I can echo those thoughts. I want yeah. to see Cham playing for Liverpool. I don't want to see him going to Juventus. Just someone else I think need to mention is Danny Ings. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to see him get a, yeah. oh, I don't know, a fucking half a game and, and not get injured. One player who nice. came back from two knee injuries was Lucas and became a, a really good player for Liverpool. So I, I wouldn't rule him out. I think this day and age, although it, it can be a, a massive blow, uh, two knee injuries, it, it's not the end of your career. Still young as well, isn't he? And he's still like, young, he's still yeah. Young. yeah. Probably still paying for him. Yeah. Yeah. The time you know may not have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> that went on for so long anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think that's enough on here for Berlin. I'm looking forward yeah. to the game. We're obviously going out to Germany. I'm really excited for that. Um, come As I say, come over, say hello to us if you see us walking down Germany with a stand in our hands mm -hmm. and a camera. Uh, do do that, please. It, it is always amazing. We went to LA last season. It was unbelievable, some of the Liverpool fans that we've met, some of the passion of these Liverpool fans. And if you are in Berlin for this game, come and come over to the to the ticketed event. Come and say hi, have a beer with us. Let's talk about Liverpool because essentially that's what we love to do. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.